Hey, before we get rolling into this video, I would like to thank my new subscribers. Um, John B. Porter. Thanks, brother. Chris Harris. Ed Grimm. Wheel to Reel. CRX. 44905. Haley Williams. Tom Niaburu. And Chris R. Thank you very much. Enjoy the video. All right. Yeah. Downpour. We were supposed to hit Primeville this weekend for an overnighter. Uh, but the thunder changed our minds. So me and John got together to work on the Franken trailer, or as we dubbed the, the Chuck Wagon. Stay tuned. That they gave me on the plans is actually what we got. I haven't thrown a tape on this at all. But the idea is to remove this, get this hooked on to the trailer tongue. And then I had to purchase a new tongue hitch. Like so. Oh, that's how it works. And then... Uh, That's that's gonna be one of these guys that I had you build to go here. So that that should well, they're a little looser than what they gave me dimensions on, but we'll we'll deal with that. Um, so this will mount here. This part should. Slip over this with a little bit of room. That's why I had you give me the uh, the extra shims, and uh, so that'll replace that whole unit right there. But if we can get into town where there's a, a mechanic shop, tire shop, anything that we can we can lift our bikes, we can remove the wheel, then we can we can change the tire, get it put back on balanced hope hopefully well if it's you your bike my bike and eric's bike and we're talking about carrying spare tires here's hoping that like me and eric have the same tires right right if he gets a if he ends up purchasing a bagger like a street glide mm -hmm. and i got the road glide um it's probably the same tires pretty close yeah okay so like that that, that would kind help. of stuff would help yeah I mean, yours are always going to be the outliers, but I've never checked. Maybe you're, maybe all three of us have the same front tire, right? Right. Um, any Anything like that could, could help. Yeah, absolutely. You know, six tires is a lot to carry. Uh, I was watching a video earlier today, and a guy had a gold wing with one of the... It looked like your trailer, but like as a tent trailer. Right. He was pulling it, and he had like... He had a cooler... Or he had an electric fridge that was in the shape of a cooler. Oh. I've never seen that, but um, he said, you know, he's got art supplies, and on top of his, when it's closed, he put a mountain bike on it so that he can ride around and camp. And he had a giant, it was a newer Goldwing. He said, <clears throat> most scenarios, he couldn't even tell it was behind him, but going uphill, right. even with that big of a bike, uh, he said that was a struggle. So Okay, yeah. Um, we would just have to test it. You know, if if the gamble was either being so prepared that we have spare tires, but then your bike overheats or something, or your yeah. transmission gives up, right? Um, you know, those are calculated risks. Sure. Like I, we, like we're going to Idaho, and I'm not even considering a tire. Right. Not. I mean, our our whole distance in Idaho is a quarter of the trip. Yeah. To Alaska and back. Yeah. But. Uh, so yeah, so two states over, not not as big of a deal if we, you know, 
okay, so we didn't get to camp there, you know, in the area while the bike's getting prepped and ready to go back to back home, um, you know, for our week trip. It's a bummer, but yeah. doable. Uh, when when you're in the deep of Alaska or Canada, um, those schedules are going to be, you know, harder to make up. Right. Yeah, it's just compounded, right? Yeah. I think if, if we were having to give and take for weight, like I would rather have you throw on a, a battery and like a bear fence, right? Yeah. And then just roll with the punches on the tire. I think, you know, when we get to Anchorage, we, we're probably all going to be looking at, you know, getting our bike serviced. And depending on when, how new or old your tires are, you know, right. having to get a set on the road. Well, I think... I think I would probably, um, I'd probably start out with brand new rubber on that trip myself. Yeah. Yeah, like even if these tires are decent, yes. start with new ones, save those for... Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You what throw kind them. of tires would you do? Same same kind, or would I you... Think, I think I've got to stick with, you know, the standard whatever. Street. Yeah. I know, because you can kind of, you can kind of lean towards a more rugged street tire that could do better for gravel, right? Right. Because um, there will be gravel. Yes. But then it's like, if it's if it's 80% pavement. All right, got the cooler settled. I had to remove this angle of the old cooler, um, smaller cooler. We're on to the big, you know, all right, what do you think of Johnny? So, um, we, we got a bigger cooler than, than I kind of expected to grab, but I got a good deal on it. And it looks smaller in that garage than uh, what it here looks like on the trailer. Um, I'm thinking that we have probably a pretty good spot for our bag, our storage bag here. And then, do, do we, how much how much do we shorten it? Uh, how much do we want to stash on here? So I've got a couple of things here. Uh, storage, toolbox, gas can, which I really think I'm going to need. Uh, I'm going to be hauling extra weight. Um, so my fuel economy is going to be even worse than, than it has been. And... Uh, yeah, so what's there to shorten? That, that's that's kind of, you know, now that I'm looking at it, do, you know, am I going to shorten it? Um, I am going to shorten it as much as possible. Um, I either want to double this or get a, a larger one. Um, do I need this? I don't know. Uh... I was thinking uh, tools, uh, but I think maybe I can maybe I can do tools in this. Um, so do we eliminate eliminate this one? Possibly get a smaller one. Um, there's you know there's where we're at figuring it out. Um, I might go online and, and figure out what the next size up is to this. And the dimensions on it and uh, figure out how much shorter we can go um, what are your thoughts Keith oh I I like what you got going on if you end up shortening this middle section like we had discussed previously yes um, I don't know that you'll want that on the rear end of the axle like that, right? If we take if we take out, you know, from here to there, um, I think you'd end up with too much weight behind. I think since you were considering uh, kind of dialing it in before any final paint that we can actually 
you know, you can actually kind of build this how you think you want it, test drive it, see how it goes. Yeah. Um, if you got to shed weight, then we got to make it shorter. Right. Now, um, so there's U channels here and here that that tongue can actually slide back. So we could, we could shorten it up this much and we can actually make a smaller frame here um, and even shorten that up further. Uh, it's going to depend a little bit on how we mount uh, the, the swivel hitch and how much uh, that ends up shorter. But uh, I think as short as we can get it, I'd like to do that. Um, for this evening, I think we can actually unbolt those U-bolts and slide the tongue back until, and we might even take this off and uh, just just put the cooler there, shorten it up until uh, until everything tongue. Oh, that wind's hitting John. Yes, it is. trailer is going to take away from what makes it enjoyable for you like are we are we putting you so constrained by adding a trailer that you are losing the freedom that the motorcycle offers huh that, that's a good question um, is there going to be restraints yes absolutely um, I think we were just talking about uh, there's going to be uh, lane uh, lane position that I won't have pulling a trailer that I do without pulling a trailer on a motorcycle. Um, the uh, the benefits I think is going to outweigh that um, in the times that we we we're, we're gonna we're gonna need this trailer. Um, you know, an overnighter throughout the summer that we do once in a while. Um, I'm not going to need to pull the trailer. Uh, I'm going to load the bike, and and we've got uh, you know one days here and there that, that we can go out and we can cruise and we have fun and we can hit the corners and and stuff. And uh, and you know that's that, that's going to be that's going to be needed for sure. Um, with the restraints of a trailer, I, you know I wouldn't want it. I don't know that I would want to. If I had to pull a trailer every time I rode, I don't know that I would. Um, but uh, you know, we're looking at we're looking at long weeks. Uh, we're looking at a month-ish uh, to Alaska. I think I think it's going to be uh, certainly a positive. Yeah, it'd be a shame, you know, because I don't know how many times we're going to be able to ride to Alaska. Right. You know, I think there are guys that do it every summer. For us, it may be once. Right. Correct. Like to get back and then you left with this feeling of like I missed out because I was I was the chuck wagon or the pack mule, you know. Right. While we're while the rest of us are foot loose and fancy free on our, you know, thousand pound motorcycles. <laughs> right. Uh, and I, I just and it's I a think, concern of mine. And I well I think I think that that's you know, and, and you brought it up before uh, also, um, you're gonna have to be conscious of the, the hindrance that I have, and that's going to hold you back too. Ish. Well, I'm like he'll catch up. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you're you're right. I got to be mindful of that. Right. Like passing, passing, with just the three of us is is tricky enough. Yes, absolutely. Um, absolutely. With it, without the trailer. Yeah. 
Um, I just, it'd be a shame for, for all this and then you'd not get what you want out of it. Yeah, no, I think, um, you know, uh, I'm not getting any younger. And by the time we make it, uh, I want as much, you know, comforts as home as I can get. And, and pulling a trailer is going to be worth that. Yeah, okay. Um, is, uh, is it, no, I don't think I'm going to be, no matter how twisty the roads are and how good they are, I don't think I'm going to, uh, be disappointed that I wasn't able to drop the trailer and, and, and hit them hard. Uh, it's going to be a long, hard road there and back. And, and I think, uh, I think being comfortable is more important in that long of a trip. Well, we appreciate it. Yeah, I'm glad. Cause it is. I mean, it's taken a hit for sure. And it's, I mean, this building, it's cool. I, I design these and build these all day long. With <laughs> right. Them, Cause this is fun. Um, but like, you know, if you told me, yeah, we're going to go on this long trip, but the only hang up is like, you know, you, you can't go over 60, um, and you can't dip too low and you got to stay in the center of your lane. And you're like, fuck, you know, all right, we're just going to drive cars, right? Road <laughs> right? trip. Right. But, uh, cause I don't know, I don't know if we've yet had a trip that was like, uh, not having a trailer ruin this trip yet. No, not yet. I mean, we haven't done a month. Right. But we were, you know, I think as far along as you are with this now, that we will probably see this in Idaho. I, I'm, I'm hoping to, yeah, yeah, for sure. So that's, you know, that's seven days. Yeah. And I guess um, that would also be a test of whether or not we need it. Exactly. I always, I could always use more room on my bike, um, but it's never like a trailer's worth of more room. Right. Uh, it's always like, man, if I had one more saddlebag, you know, I'd be dialed. It, it's all about the comfort. You know, there's there's guys that that have a lot less than what we pack and, and do adventure trips. Yeah. You know, do they have chairs? No. They, they have their, their uh, clothing bag that they throw down on the ground and they lean up against their bike. And that's their chair. I tell you, we, I mean, if we're bringing this, I might strap my full-size guitar on it. There you go. And not mess with that no, travel that's... guitar. Stupid little travel guitar. <laughs> I fucking hate that thing. Yeah, let's do it as long as, you know, as long as, I don't know that it'd fit in the bag, but. No, it, it would be like a. Yeah. A tricky yeah. strap on as thing. long as as long as you know it's not gonna get wet or whatever yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's the deal I mean if we can keep maybe it maybe I won't bring the Martin yeah yeah okay man I'm for it So what we've decided was to raise up the platform so that the soft bag goes on on top right here but then within this void we can slide in a pop-up shade so in case we get into something sketch uh, we can get we can get shelter super quick so uh, really digging this design. So can you imagine being in Prineville right now? It's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, so as I said earlier, uh, the soft bag, is in, we're going to do a sheet of aluminum soft bag. Uh, we decided, since we had to raise it up over the wheel wells to just go further so that we could use this space uh, in, the, in the very pop-up shade that we're under that's keeping us dry edge. Uh, carry one that's huge yeah it, it actually gives us a lot more storage um, 
we can run uh, any kind of tent poles that we want, um, park over our motorcycles and, and throw some tent poles up, tent stakes. Uh, just give us a lot more options. Yeah. Like like you were saying, fishing poles. Um, just a lot more options. Yeah, this is just, it's coming along great. This is our, besides unburying it, this was really our first go at modifying it. And I think that, uh, wow, we made it really far, so. Let me ask you this. Since we, since we went up so high, um, we had the fender wells uh, off of the original. Um, does it make sense to maybe put those in or, or no? Uh, maybe, maybe with the, you know, our extra storage, maybe we want to put those on over the wheels so that we don't have anything maybe slide up against them as we roll it. Yeah, I think even if you were to hit a puddle or something, it would just be nice to not have everything on the inside just getting picked no, up makes, on. that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. You'll have to notch it around our new structure, but... Yeah, I think I can make a handle that. A couple of screws ought to shut it down. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to build a little frame out here to, to control it, but yeah. Yeah, I think, I think we have the technology. Yeah, anyway. Uh, that's part two of the trailer build. Uh, thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Uh, I'm sure before I get with John again, he'll have probably the, the hitch stuff worked out, and hopefully we'll be test driving. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks. If you haven't, please subscribe. Uh, it helps us out. Yeah, absolutely. Trying to have a go at this, and uh, you know we appreciate the support that we've gotten and. Uh, Stay tuned. Stay tuned.